I did. I'm here. We're in the backyard <laughs> barbecue. Chef and owner Natasha Legames here. Crepe Corner. We're going to be making Belgian style chicken pot pie crepes. It's also our roadie deal of the day. Now, this is a great deal, so make sure you get it onto roadiedeals.com. Five $10 vouchers for only 25 bucks. You can go have some delicious crepes. Yes. Nothing wrong with that. Thanks so much for coming in. <laughs> Thank you for inviting me. Now, you have a couple of locations, right? I have one location, one location. so far, but okay. the plan is to have a second. All right, we're already expanding. Yes. Uh, where, where are you guys located? So it's uh, on Route 44 behind a &W, okay. right in Smithfield. Very nice. All right, so we're going to make crepes. Now, a lot of times when people think uh, crepes, they think uh, putting like some chocolate sauce on it, but you're going to make almost right. like a chicken pot pie with this. Yes, so I'll be making a Belgian-style uh, chicken pot pie. And uh, so basically the ingredients, you know, will be chicken, uh, right. chicken tenders. You have some butter, you know, French cuisine is always with butter. Right. <laughs> uh, some mushrooms, uh, this is pepper, salt, uh, some all-purpose flour that we actually get from local farmers. Okay. Uh, so we try to keep everything fresh and organic in the store. Right, right. Um, this is uh, some lemon pepper I love uh, seasoning. Lemon pepper. And of course, garlic, uh -huh. you know, garlic is huge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nutmeg. Uh, we definitely need the nutmeg for the taste of the chicken pot pie. Right. So when someone's thinking chicken pot pie, a lot of times it'll be the traditional, almost like pie version, a little thicker. Is this the same way, or are you kind of wrapping everything up in the crepe itself? Exactly. So I'm making the filling, which is, you know, a sauce bechamel-based uh, filling. Right. And we'll be making a crepe. Maybe you can try. Yes, we'll give yes. it a try. Yes, yes. <laughs> we will do that. And we'll we put it inside. We'll put this together in just a little bit. Don't forget, go online right now to roadiedeals.com. Pick up your roadie deal of the day today. We'll put this together. Also talk about, uh, you know, what other types that they make there as well. Back to you. Did you make it outside? Oh, thank God, he's I there. I made it out. The door was stuck. I couldn't get out the door. All right, Natasha is here from Crepe Corner. We got Belgian style chicken pot pie we're putting together. It's also our roadie deal of the day. Make sure you go to roadiedeals.com and pick up one of those roadie deals. Okay, let's get to it, Natasha. What do you want to do? All right, so we will grill the chicken. Okay. So you just season it, uh, you know, with some salt and pepper. Yep. To whichever, you know, liking you prefer. Some right. people like it saltier. Um, so you have some small um, chicken, you know, pieces of chicken that there. That's chicken easy to tender. Do. Chicken tenders to put together. Yes. So this won't take long at all after you get them on the grill. You've had the grill going for a while, so it's nice yeah, and hot. Yeah, so it's nice and hot. You know. What is that again? This is the lemon uh, oh, pepper. Yeah. That's good. You know, you want it very tasty, not just salt Bland. and pepper. Right, right exactly. Right. All right, so, so we'll put this on the grill. Pop those on. Let those go for a while. Now, um, Natasha, is this something that you that you folks make at the at your at your location? Yes. So we absolutely make everything from scratch. I don't buy any product that is already made. Right. So we have a smoker. We smoke our own chicken. Oh wow. We grill our own chicken. Um, we do our own Nutella. Oh, you do? Yes. Oh my God. You know we make all these pastries. Well, I want to show these desserts in a little bit because <laughs> they look beautiful. And you also were saying to me just a little while ago too that you want to make sure that all of the products you're using, there's a lot of local yes. things that you're using yes, as well. Yes, from local farmers. Um, a lot of times people will think when they think crepes, they think crepes with Nutella on it or more of a dessert style. Right. Is this something that you've expanded on and, and make a lot of different, you know, different ways? Yes. So we have a lot of uh, dessert uh, crepes, but we have a lot of savory and also breakfast. Right. So we get our eggs from local farmers, you know, and you can have your eggs there whichever way you like it but wrapped in the crepe oh man and we also do gluten-free mostly all of our crepes can be done gluten-free for people with celiac disease okay and I also do vegan okay um, so a little something for everybody exactly a little so something there, for everyone. there's a there's a big menu people definitely take a little bit uh, before picking next what time want. you come you need to make the nutella we're gonna we're gonna give that a try too yes okay? absolutely it is our roadie deal of the day make sure you go to roadiedeals.com right now to pick up one of these uh, one of these gift certificates. We're going to put this together and then wait. I don't even want to show you just yet. She had done it. Don't, don't turn. She has brought some amazing desserts that we are going to give a try as well. Back to you. We are back outside the backyard barbecue. Natasha Lynn is here. Uh, crepe Corner, Belgian style chicken pot pie crepe. That's what we're making. It's our roadie deal of the day. If you haven't gone to roadiedeals.com yet, 
you need to get online right now and pick up one of those where he does and go and have some delicious food like this. Now, Natasha has back here, she has some mushrooms. And what else did you put in there? So this has here mushrooms, yep. uh, fresh garlic, okay. uh, the seasoning, so salt pepper, some nutmeg, uh, the lemon pepper okay. um, in it. So you have that and you already have and the, some butter. Yeah, and some butter in it as well. Mm -hmm. The chicken is already cooked. So yes. you're going to pop that together. So I put this aside. Okay. Because now in the same I get this pot. Out of you. I'll get this out of your way. In, uh, we can put it here because yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll do a bechamel. Uh, oh, okay. You want to see you just want to leave it here? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so, let's... so we'll add butter mm -hmm. for the bechamel. Drop that in. Now this is all part of the chicken pot pie. Maybe something a lot of folks aren't used to uh, used to have a chicken pot pie this way. But with the crepe, can't go wrong with that. And you add some flour. Picking it up a little bit? Yep. And then we will basically add some milk um, and some seasoning, okay. which will be the same seasonings that we have here that we had put in the mushrooms. Because the idea is that everything, once the bechamel sauce is ready, everything will be mixed together. Okay. And you'll have to let it sit for a few minutes. Right. Um, but today, because of time, you know, we will... We actually already have this all, all right. done. So this is the final product so in the this bowl. this is what it's going to look like right here in, in front of us. Right. Uh, just kind of show you that right there. This is what it's, what everything that, uh, that Natasha is putting together, that's the final product right there. So, so now on the fun part, okay. let's you, go. you will watch me uh, let's make see, a crepe. Let's see how you do this. Yes, and so, then you will do it. Okay. Well, I can't guarantee it's going to come out the same way, but we'll give it a shot. <laughs> so, Natasha, for you, is this, is this a recipe that, that has been in your family? Is this something, even just cooking and, and making things like this, that you, that you love to do? Yes, so I grew up, you know, with my mom basically loving to cook and right. making everything this is butter, we just spreading it around, mm -hmm. making everything, you know, homemade. Right. Uh, my grandmother, same way. So that's basically, you know, the, we are foodies. Right. Because we make everything from scratch, you know, even the bread and all that. Um, and I always thought, okay, there is not really a real French pastry here. Mm -hmm. Every time they tell me, oh, it's a Belgian waffle, or anything like this it's it's not what it is back home right and I always thought to myself one day I will open a coffee shop that has the real deal and also because I miss it so much sure sure and and, and you miss it the way that your your mom your grandmother and everyone else made it right. in your family and my mom actually works with me oh she does so, so what is she? I, uh, the it, main chef is there competition between you and your mother who makes it better no, <laughs> no, no okay. because, uh, you know, she has her pastries and bread that she makes well. Right. And me, it's more on the uh, crepes and, you know, cooking, savory and all this side and the macarons. Oh, man. Which, uh, you know, which you can we have, taste Which one. we have right here. Yes. All right, so while this is going on, let's go over some of the desserts that you brought because they're, they're beautiful. Let's talk Thank about what you. you have. So here, this is a crepe cake and it's a medium size. So um, it's basically layers and layers of Of which you're kind of like putting together over here. Exactly. Right. And you make it the same size, mm -hmm. you know, um, and you fill it with whatever filling. So this one is a, a Nutella chocolate, oh, all right. All right. which the Nutella we make ourselves. So sure. um, these here are macarons that I made this morning with um, vanilla uh, buttercream. Delicious. And I like to make, you know, different types of macarons. Uh, sometimes it's Hello Kitty, little okay. panda bears, right. you know, little A little puppies. bit of everything. What do you have here? This is a creme brulee bite. So have you ever had creme brulee? I have had creme brulee, and I'm going to have a creme brulee bite. Yes. My son and husband are literally addicted. They keep eating it. Oh, man. I can, he's standing over there, and I can see why he's yeah. addicted. That is delicious. <laughs> And uh, this here is a galette des rois. So um, galette des rois is basically made in Belgium um, once a year mm -hmm. on January 6th. And it's uh, with the three kings, okay. you know, in the Bible. Sure. And the whole idea is you have a little Jesus inside, you eat it as a family, and right. whoever gets the little Jesus in their piece wins the crown. It's, Excellent. It's a really fun Excellent. family All right, deal. so we just have a little, a little while left. So now that this okay. is done, you'll take this filling and put it in there? Yep. Okay, so let's see how this but goes. Before we do this, you need to make one too. Okay. All right. We only have a few seconds left, so All right. I'm gonna. You can pour so that go on ahead. there. Yep. 
Put a little butter on there. Yeah, we don't need much. Spread that around. Okay, so I'm gonna pour this yep. in the middle here. Go ahead, more, more, more. Don't be shy. Okay. Yep. Keep going. Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, now take it from here. And you, yes, and you just very lightly, like a feather, you just turn it around. Don't press on it. Right, I'm going. Uh, just, yeah, just like you're painting. Right, okay. Going around. That's not the best one. It's not the best one. Okay, so. While this is done, you're going to be putting that uh, that in the middle. It is our roadie deal of the day. Make sure you go to roadiedeals.com and pick up one of these, and you can go have some delicious crepes there. Back to you.